shame Rising again, I bless your name You are my all in all When I fall down, you pick me up When I am dry, you fill my cup You are my all in all to see all of you today. How was your week? Did you have a great time spending time with Jesus? That's great! We learned the past lesson to make God number one in our lives and in everything that we do. When we put God first and spend time with Him, He guides us and protects us in all that we do. So today, we'll be learning about tithing. Like mentioned in the last lesson, tithing is one of the ways to honour God. But what is tithing? Tithing is about giving God a tenth or 10% 10 of everything we get. It can be your ampao money, birthday money or weekly allowances. Basically, any money that you earn or receive. Hmm. To give you a better idea, let's have a little math session. What is a tenth? A tenth is 10% 10 or 1 out of 10. Let's say I have 10 chocolates. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10% 10 of 10 chocolates is 1 chocolate. If I have 20 chocolates, 10% of 20 chocolates is 2. Let's take a look at another example. I have $5 from my mommy, $5 from my daddy, Five dollars from my grandma, five dollars from my grandpa, that's twenty dollars altogether. Ten of twenty dollars is two dollars. My child will be giving two dollars to God. That's right, that's tithing. And that brings us to the next question. Why do we need to tithe? Does God need your money? Nope, not at all. God created the universe and the entire world belongs to Him. He's so, so rich. Even the heaven streets are paved with gold. Wow! Then why do we need to tie since God doesn't need our money, teacher? Ah, that's a very good question. We tithe not because God needs our money, we tithe because God wants to bless us. Giving our tithes is an act of worship. When we tithe, we are thanking Him for all His blessings. Blessing us with a family, a place to stay, food to eat, a school to go to, and many, many more. This reminds me of a Bible story where God helped Abram win a battle, and Abram honored God by tithing. Let's check it out. This is Abram, and this is Melchizedek, a priest of God Most High. One day, Abram's nephew Lot was captured because of a war. When Abram heard it, he sent men to rescue Lot. The enemy's army ran away, and Abram saved Lot and recovered all the goods that had been taken. When Abram returned, the king of Sodom, whose things were taken away during the war, met Abram. Melchizedek, the priest, also met him and brought Abram some bread and wine. He blessed Abram, blessed by Abram by God's Most High, who has defeated your enemies for you. Then Abram gave Melchizedek a tenth of all the goods he had recovered. King Sodom said to Abram, Give back my people who were captured, but you can keep all the goods for yourself. Abraham replied, I will not take anything that belongs to you, otherwise you might say I'm the one who made Abraham rich. Sometime later, the Lord spoke to Abraham in a vision and said to him, Do not be afraid, Abraham, for I will protect you and your reward will be great. 
Abram replied, O oh, sovereign Lord, what good are all your blessings when I don't even have a son? The Lord said, You will have your son of your own. The Lord took Abram outside and said to him, Look up into the sky and count the stars if you can. That's how many descendants you will have. And Abram believed the Lord. Yep. In the same way, when we give to God, we give with joy and a grateful heart. It's a way of saying, thank you God for everything He has done for us. God doesn't force us, but He loves a cheerful giver. We don't have to be sad when we tithe because we are not actually losing money. Instead, tithing is like planting seeds. Wow! What do I have here? An apple. How many seeds are inside? An apple normally has 5 to 8 seeds. Let's take one seed and plant it. What do we get? Wow! An apple tree! From an apple tree, we get apples. Do you know how many apples are there in an apple tree? Normally during the harvest season, you can get 400 to 800 apples. Sometimes you may even get 1,200 apples from just one tree. Wow! All of that came from one seed. Some types of apple trees even have two harvest seasons a year. From a few apple seeds, we get 800 apples per season. And in a year, we get 1,600 apples. Not just that, apple trees can live for 50 to 80 years. So from one seed, we can get up to 128,000 apples. Wow. wow! Yes, so the more seeds we plant, the more crops we will get. God loves a cheerful giver. Uh, 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 uh. God loves a cheerful giver. Uh, 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 uh. God loves a cheerful giver. Uh, 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 uh. Cheerfully, we are planting our seeds in God's kingdom and those seeds will multiply and become blessings to you and the people around you. Just like how God blessed Abraham with a son and many, many more promises. God also has so many, many, many blessings for you. Amazing, right? Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for all your blessings and that we can tithe and give happily back to you with a grateful heart. We thank you that you bless the seed that we give, that it will multiply for every good work that you are doing. Thank you for your protection and keeping our families and loved ones in good health. In Jesus' name, Amen. Bye kids! Master Chef! So today we're gonna make egg sandwiches. First, we have boiled them eggs as many as you want. So, yeah, but please get a duck to it because you don't want to get a burn. And then you're gonna have to crack and peel off the eggshell. You need to boil the egg so it's a hard boiled egg. So, get an edge of the table and just have to put the eggshell cracks and you peel off the 
Big ship. Right. So, just keep eating it off and don't forget to take out the skin. Because, what? Eat that. Oh, you have done the egg. What you need to do? You need to bring salt, brown sugar if you want, and pepper. You're just gonna need to bake this salt. On the eggs, like so. Once you're done with the salt, close it. Brown sugar to add taste. Yes. Okay, get the brown sugar. It's pretty messy. Now you're gonna need to take the pepper and just sprinkle it on. See, you're done with it. All you need to do now is mash the egg. We just take a spoon of fork and just crush the egg like so. Crush it and halfway through, take another spoon. Bring some mayonnaise, open it, take get the spoon out and this will help soften and give it taste. Two spoons full of mayonnaise if you will bring four eggs. Smash it again. Till it's hot. So you don't want big clumps of the egg. Because it's not gonna be soft. So once you're done with that, just need a small taste. Like so. So by the taste of it, I can see that it needs a bit more salt. So now you're done with that. It's probably easiest part of me. So you're done with this. You can put it aside and here comes the fun part. You're gonna take a big plate. You're gonna get some bread. Once you got the bread, bread you need a knife to spread them buns. Continue. And just spread it around the bread. If you want to toast it, it's fine. But I don't Spread the butter around the plate. Great. Okay. And just bring it on the egg. Okay. Depending on how much we want on the bread. Yeah. Once you've done that, for both bread or however much you like, bread with eggs. Now put the spoon away and main ingredient. Yeah. So. Just the ketchup. Put some on the ketchup and what you want to do is you can either put the bread together like that or you can just fold it. Once you've done that you can add other ingredients like cucumbers, lettuce uh, and, and vegetables that you want and yeah, see you. Time for the face face. Big. So, definitely don't want to do this myself. Bye bye! Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for our sin. It is such a great joy to have you as our Savior, Lord, and friend, knowing that we have complete forgiveness of our sins. Sing